back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about books Hello and welcome to the video guys Today I wanted to do something a little bit different but also something I think you guys will be interested in and that is to show you some of the spaces in my new house that I have kind of set up specifically for reading, filming, sitting and enjoying books and just doing what I want to do really. So the main one I wanted to talk to you about today is my kind of cosy reading area. This is the kind of area that I'm going to be using when it's outside raining, when it's winter, when it's cold, when I just want to like snuggle up and feel cosy. This is the room that I'm going to be coming to a lot and today is the first kind of rainy bleary day since we moved in and I just I felt like today was the day to set it up properly and sit down and do some reading. So I wanted to show you guys. So it's actually my lounge and I mean Whenever I don't want it to be cosy, it's just a lounge. But whenever I want it to be a reading cosy place, this is what it looks like. So you can kind of get an impression from me just spinning around, but I'll tell you a little bit more in detail as well. So as you can see, first up, I have a big picture of a horse, which I drew when I was in uni. Um, and then I have some candles because everyone loves candles and this one is from Anthropology, and it smells so good. Um, this little vase here is from John Lewis I believe, we got that as a housewarming gift. Uh, then we have this little cute rock party thing which I found when I was down in Cornwall and we just I fell in love with it, I thought it was hilarious. Got some new house cards over here because just moved in. Um, and then over here is the actual bookcases that I have in the lounge, which you guys probably won't get to see that often because I can't imagine I'll be filming that often in here really. Uh, maybe, but I doubt it. So this is the main bookcase. We kind of have like Harry Potter on the top and some other books that people might like to look at. Specifically, we have some kind of more design based books. Um, and then we've got a dragon down here and some graphic novels as well and just some little bits and bobs on the bottom shelf too. This bookcase, as you can see, it's more kind of ornamental than it is like an actual bookcase, although there are books on it. Um, there's also this, which I love. One of my friends got this for me and it's like the cutest, most lovely little light. And I just, it gives a really warm glow and I love it. So that's amazing. These books, which just look like chaos, are my old diaries, which I kept diaries for about 10 years. So I've got a lot of old diaries and also a lot of photo albums, sort of sentimental things like precious stuff, family stuff. So lots of things that probably will be entertaining for people if they come over and they want to have a read through, but they're not necessarily the books I would keep on my actual bookshelf that makes sense. So spinning around uh, we have this big big frame up here which I'm sure some of you will have clocked on what it is about but it's actually this Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and if I go really close hopefully you guys can see maybe not this is actually the text from Harry Potter so it's the entire first book in a poster and Steve got this for me a while ago and I have now put it up here because I think it kind of makes sense with all the Harry Potter books. It just makes this room nicer having something on the wall. And then if we come round, this is my sofa with little snug on top and loads of cushions. My Kindle's already over there, just kind of waiting for me. This is a new Ikea lamp, which I have wanted a lamp, like a reading lamp for literally years and this one is amazing. I love it so much and I can't wait to sit down and actually read with it and yeah let's just sit down. So this is kind of my cozy corner. You can see it's very cozy. It's just great and I love it and um, yeah that's that's kind of it. That's kind of the room, the vibe that we're going for. Cozy, comfortable, like lots going on. So yeah, just thought you guys might be interested. 
let me know. Um, can always do a video on a slightly more sunny day of where I'm going to be kind of chilling and sitting outside because we have a nice outdoor area now. And obviously I need to do an actual library tour of all of the books that I have upstairs on my main shelves so that you guys can see that as well. But I thought you might be interested in just kind of where I actually read. This is one of my places. I also read in bed. I also read outside. I kind of read everywhere, but this is definitely going to be, I can already tell, it's going to be one of the new favourites for me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know where you love to get cosy and read books and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye guys. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book. Then come back and chat with me again.